Let's talk about how this impacts the sports of it all. We'll start with his ability to play Sunday. He said yesterday that he's been doing some walking and some yoga. Now he's going to ramp up his activity as the week goes on. He's not, he cannot be cleared until Saturday at the soonest. He has to have heart tests and all that kind of stuff, being unvaccinated. I, I, think, I do not think it is a lock that he plays on Sunday. They're playing Seattle. Russell Wilson is coming back for that game. And I do not think at this point it is a lock that he plays on Sunday. Certainly if he is cleared, I think it is a lock. What I think is actually a less likely than not, so I think it is less than a 50-50 chance, is that he plays great. I'm thinking about when Lamar Jackson first came back mm. from COVID. I'm thinking about when Cam Newton first came back from COVID. I'm thinking about a variety of other athletes. Now, several have come back and been just fine. But I think the idea, because remember, he did have symptoms. He was not asymptomatic. I don't know exactly how bad they were, but he kept referring to feeling better now. He definitively had some symptoms. So I think the idea that he's just going to come out and look exactly like he looked right before he got hurt, or not people, excuse me, right before he tested positive, I think I would describe as unlikely. Obviously, I don't know. We'll wait and see. I hope he plays. I'm a sportscaster and a sports fan. This is all much more interesting when Aaron Rodgers does play than when he doesn't. So there's that. Then let's get to the part of it that I think I am very much equipped to weigh in on. And I'll make this my straight talk brought to you by Straight Talk Wireless. Straight Talk Wireless, no contract, no compromise. I think for the Packers and for their fans, this could be an enormous blessing in disguise. Now, Aaron Rodgers is an unpredictable person, to say the very least. So you never know how things will impact him and how they impact others. But I think most people can relate to what I'm about to say. All of us have been through a firestorm of some sort in our lives. And they can be very public, like his. And generally speaking, in what I do for a living, they can be public. But they can be in your life, too. It could be almost anything. You have something happens in your life that is extremely challenging. And the fact that his firestorm of last week was of his own making does not change what I'm about to say. Because when that is happening to you, as you well know, you don't sit and think, did I cause this to happen myself? Your thought is, I feel like I'm drowning here. I feel like terrible things are happening to me. This can be anything. I, I've never been through a divorce, but I would imagine that, that there could be circumstances like that that happen to you. You could be fired from a job. Anything that happens to you that is, that is, that is, that starts to spiral out of your control, where you no longer feel like you are in complete control of what is going to happen next. And when that happens to you, I believe most people remember very vividly when the smoke clears, who was on their side? Like, you know the old expression, like, you know who your friends are when things are bad. And again, I'm, I'm thinking back to, and there's been some nice press about this lately, but Hembo, you were with me when we started Get Up, and it's, if you go back and read what people were writing about me when that first started, um, it wasn't easy to read. It was not a fun place to be. My, being me was not as much fun that, during that stretch of time as it has otherwise usually been. And I remember vividly who was on my side and who was not during that. And you just file that away in the back of your mind. And it doesn't, necess it doesn't change everything, but it certainly is something that you remember. And I've said many times on this show that I will always remember, among others, Dan Orlovsky, Marcus Spears, Laura Rutledge, Maria Taylor, some of the people who, like, at a time when there was, like, an air of toxic about us, like, they were dying to be here. They were like, Greeny, I'm in. What do you need me to do? I'll never forget that. So that's what I'm talking about. So if you're Aaron Rodgers, if the Green Bay Packers have your back here, now there's no owner, and I think that hurts them terribly because there's no Robert Kraft, Jerry Jones, someone like that to sit him down and be like, listen, you're like a son to me, and I'm going to stand by your side through this. We're going to get through this thing together. But... That now becomes the job of Brian Gutekunst and whoever else, Murphy, whoever else it is that's running the show there and saying to him, we are standing shoulder to shoulder. We are with you through in this thing through thick and thin. Right now is a little thin, but there's been a lot of thick and we're counting on the thick again. You go out and do your thing and we will take all the bullets, the slings, the arrows, the fines, whatever else it is that comes along. 
And while he is an unpredictable person, I really do believe that could change the entire dynamic of the relationship. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.